Montenegro, the gem of the Adriatic, where towering mountains meet turquoise waters and charming medieval towns. It's no wonder travelers from around the world are enchanted and many dream of owning a slice of paradise here. But here's the catch, Montenegro's real estate market is heating up and those once in a lifetime property deals are getting harder to come by. With prices rising, the window to find affordable homes in these breathtaking landscapes is closing fast. So if you've ever thought about calling Montenegro home, now might be the time to dive in before the secret gets out. Join Julie and I as we look at real estate and the current prices here in Montenegro. We're here with another real estate video in Montenegro and I just want to say real estate prices here have really been moving a lot and you cannot trust the listings you see online so please make sure you are getting with a good realtor before you're coming out here to look at properties. We're going to show you some current properties now but if you go online you're going to be misled by a lot of sites keeping up old listings to kind of do a switch and bait some of them are at least two years old so make sure you contact us if you're looking for a legit realtor that is going to make sure that they're not doing a switch and bait we're going to look at some properties today and you know i think that they've got some decent value so uh this is today's prices here in montenegro let's go take a look at our first two properties they're in Dobrota, Montenegro, in a complex just north of the UNESCO Heritage City of Kotor. And this location offers plenty of amenities. There's available parking, two pools, and you're only about a 35-minute walk to the historic town of Kotor. The complex is also just a quick five-minute walk to the shoreline where there's lots of places to go swimming and locals hang out during the summer, as well as holiday makers. And there's lots of charming restaurants on your way to Kotor. These apartments are not only ideal for anyone considering life in Montenegro, but great for renting out for tourists. So also remember, you can get residency with a property in Montenegro and there is no minimum value. So if you want to know more about residency, make sure you go check out our residency video regarding Montenegro. But these apartments will meet those requirements if you wish to live here year round. Let's look at our first property. It's a two bedroom, two bath. And you'll see this one's got the jetted shower. And it's a 77 square meter apartment, which is approximately 830 square feet. You see that the kitchen is well decked out, modern. The price is amazingly 220,000 euros and it comes furnished. You've got a nice view. You have a history of rental here. So you can look at this as an investment or a place to call home. I found that the furnishings seem very comfortable and we could easily live here. When we go down the hall, you're going to see that there's another bathroom and this one's got a bonus. It's got a bathtub. So you have that ability to have a bathtub or a shower if that's what you're choosing. You have a bedroom in here where there is a single bed in there, but you can make that a little bit larger as well if you wanted to go with a double. And this one has a queen size bed, very comfortable room, lots of storage space built in with a lot of uh, thought in mind of trying to make sure you have places to put your things. So this home can definitely feel like a home. It also has a central type of air system here, which is nice and not very common in many places in Montenegro. So this place will meet your residency needs if this is what you're looking for. Now there's another home in the same complex. So we're gonna take a trip upstairs and go look at another version similar to this one, slightly more in cost. Let's take a look at the second apartment in this complex. It's 235,000 euros and it also comes furnished. It is also approximately 77 square meters or 830 square feet. You'll see it's got a little bit different floor plan as far as how the kitchen and layout is set up. Very spacious area here. Lots of room for having friends over and it also has the two bedroom, two bath and has a bathtub in here as well. Looks like some upgraded tiling in both bathrooms. 
This one, you can see there's two single beds in here. Easily, you can put a queen in there if you prefer. And then here's the master bedroom. This one also has plenty of storage and there's parking available for the unit as well here in the complex. Access very easy in and out, close to the bay. And you can see you've got a nice southerly view, which is great in the winter when the sun is in that direction. So this one has a great rental history. And from what I understand, it goes for 170 to 180 a night during the tourist season. So this is a money maker. And from what I understand, it stayed full throughout most of the season. So if you wanna invest here or live here, this property gives you that opportunity to have a lifestyle in Montenegro. Our next home is a new construction in Debrota, Montenegro. As a reminder, if you're looking for real estate in Montenegro, make sure you email us at warrenjulietravel at gmail.com so that we can make sure that we put you in touch with the right people to find the property that you're looking for. Julie and I, this is our home base. We love Montenegro. We travel full time with our two dogs. And we're trying to show you what it's like to live in different countries, different places, and how to live there. Don't forget to look at our residency videos. You can also find those at warrenjulietravel.com, as well as here on our YouTube channel. Please don't forget to subscribe and give this video a like. Now, this complex has several units still available. If you're looking at the ground floor, it would be 100,000 euros. We're gonna be looking at what they call the first floor here, which is the second floor for Americans, and that's 130,000 euros. And it's a little over 50 square meters, and it's a one bedroom, one bath. And on this level, you have a peekaboo view out to the sea, and in the other room, you have a little bit better view, which we'll take a look at. You'll have the ability to furnish this as you would like. Now, it is somewhat spacious. The bricks don't quite give the full feeling of how spacious it is, but we can imagine that this place will be quite comfortable. And if you were to buy this and rent it out in the summer season, you can expect somewhere between 100 to 120 euros a night for the rental. So this does make good sense on an investment standpoint when you look at the rental income that could be made during the summer season. It's also just minutes walk down to the Debroda waterfront and approximately 20, 25 minutes walk to the Couture Old Town area, which adds to the value of the location. Montenegro has a lot of international interest from all over the world focused on it. People are coming here and investing here from all corners of the globe and there is a lot of construction going on. So we're gonna pop over to Tavat, Montenegro. This has the internationally famous Porto Montenegro Yacht Club, which has brought a lot of attention and a lot of investing to the area. And a lot of construction is going on as well. We're gonna take a look at a beautiful apartment with a beautiful view overlooking the Tavat area here. Nicole's gonna walk us through the next home. If you need an agent, email us at warrenjulietravel at gmail.com for a Montenegro we agent. Well. We've got a beautiful apartment and incredible views. So your living space upstairs with bedrooms and two bathrooms downstairs. So kitchen would go over here. Kitchen here, if you have kitchen, little island, dining space, couches, um, just taking in that view. The home is set up with, it's got a smart home system. A lot of uh, new building out here. This is, um, Tabat is booming right now. And this is out by the Porto Montenegro. And this is uh, Daniel Lispa. And you can see this is the swimming pool that for this complex. So all residents have use of the outdoor barbecue area, outdoor shower, swimming pools. And the apartment comes with a pop in space. Go downstairs, the living area. Lots of windows, so it's bright. Okay, so this is your first bedroom. Concrete bathroom shower. Dog leading onto the terrace. Place over here for your wardrobe. Now 
And then you can come on terrace from the other bedroom as well. You got a little space here for utilities, so you could close this off. Um, they've already got the fittings and stuff in for washing machine, etc. So that you can separate. And then you'll long bedroom. This is the larger bedroom. This is the larger bedroom. It's open now. Nice thing with this is you, you it's two kilometers to Porto Montenegro. Uh, <clears throat> beach is a 500 meter walk and it's a comfortable walk. There's restaurants, um, there's a little shopping center or market just down the road. The next home we're visiting is still in Tivat and it overlooks the Tivat part of the bay of Kotor Bay. And it's got a picturesque view, nice location. And it does come with a garage and parking down here on the lower part of the building. But there's also some bonus area on the rooftop, so make sure you watch through this entire apartment. It's quite charming upstairs. Okay, so we're in Magina Tibat today. Beautiful two bedroom, one bathroom apartment. Apartment's 55 square meters and it's got a really spacious feel to it. So this apartment is being sold fully furnished. The 22 square meter garage that comes with the property. It's fully equipped. So there's really nothing that needed to be added uh, on this bike. The views out here are fantastic. It's gorgeous out there. Yeah, the nice thing is everything has got electric blinds, so you'll see all every window has got electric, electric blinds, air conditioning. I mean, they even put in mosquito nets and stuff, so there's really a lot of thought has gone into to this property. Second bedroom. Nice modern bathroom. Got the interactive um, uh, intercom as well, so you do have guests. And in summer, you know, it's just people and decks, and like it's just really such a festive vibe. Uh, to sit up wow. here. There's a pool, huh? There's a swimming pool. Okay, outside shower. Don't forget you can contact us by emailing warrenjulietravel at gmail.com to be connected with a realtor in Montenegro. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Visit our website warrenjulietravel.com for information on expat resources and international medical insurance wherever you travel. And another shower inside with a bathroom up here on the roof so you don't have to run downstairs. What do you think? Is it a uh, good value? 230,000, I think is what she said, euros. So I think so, and it rents out really well. It's not too far from the uh, Tavat waterfront. And, no. you and know, the view it, is beautiful. The next home, we stay in Tavat, and we're going to a new construction. And as a reminder, you can get residency in Montenegro with home ownership, and there is no minimum value or size. It needs to be habitable. So this new construction will fit all those bills at a pretty low price. Okay, so this will be about the size of a hotel room. A place for a kitchen over here. Okay, so this little studio is about 90,000 euro. And you still have a bit of a view going on out here, but not a, not a huge amount. So the studio is 27 square meters. It's um, way too small for us, but it does get you into Montenegro below 100,000 and you can get residency with that. This new construction will have an area for parking as well. So if you do have a car, it is walkable to many areas. So you're not too far away from anything and you're also near public transportation. Now we know that Montenegro real estate prices have been soaring and going up considerably. So still finding something under 100,000 is quite hard. We tried to show you some deals today 
and with the right agent you can still find some properties out there in the low hundreds but the prices are climbing so you might not want to sit on the fence too long we love montenegro and if you're looking for an agent in the area make sure you email us at warrenjulietravel at gmail.com don't forget to check out our website for all kinds of information on expat resources as well as international medical insurance warrenjulietravel.com and join our facebook group expat slow travel nomad network by warren and julie We'll look forward to hearing from you, and we hope that you'll subscribe, give this video a like, and join us as we travel Europe with our two dogs, and try to show you what it's like to live in different places, and sharing our experiences and expenses with you. And until next time, have a great day, everybody. Bye-bye.